What are your peeps? We're gonna do the trivia game before we begin, because uh, yeah, I don't know if this one refreshes like I assumed it did in the first game. Hopefully it does. So before we begin, let's do some questions. Oh, it's got music. I turned the music down as well on the sound effects. We're a pain in the ass to edit. Every time the combat starts, you have to, I have to tweak the audio individually, and it gets um, irritating. So I should just take the music off completely because the music in this game is kind of shit. You know, but anyway, um, Sabretooth's last enemy is obviously Wolverine. <laughs> obviously, um, she he had a crush on. It's weird how they call her Alison Crestmere, not Magma. Like people in the wouldn't know who Alison Crestmere is. Aspen had a crush on her. He has a crush on fucking everyone. You're gonna first appear next Men number. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I cheated for this one. It's twelve. I want to get all these right because I get XP. Pretty sure if you get them wrong, you don't get the experience. So I'm cheating for this one. I, I see the thing is with me, I don't know. I've never really read X Men, if I'm completely honest. I've read Wolverine comics, but not X Men themselves. Um, he was to be married to Belladonna Debu, wasn't he? Because you can't be blink. Because if you've seen her, I don't know who Celine is. I'm no Domino. The only one I don't know is Bella. Sounds. Where's he from? He's from New Orleans, isn't he? Uh, Victor Creed is Saber Two. <laughs> Cyber. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or just been romantically linked to. Oh shit. Well, it can't be Storm. Or, um, it can't be Jean or Blink. I don't know who the Black Queen is. She sounds like a spider. The only one I can think of is Storm. Judging, just to, just to do with how, how old she is, she's a lot older than Jean, and pretty sure she is. Hey, it was right. I don't know who the Black Queen is. Sounds cool. Um, while growing up in an orphanage, Cyclops was bullied by a boy named Nathan, who was really, um, did you from my knowledge of Mister Sinister? Which is, um, what's his name? Nathan something. Um, shit, I can't remember his last name there. Mr. Sinister is a creepy old prick, isn't he? He was in the cartoons. Um, which is true of Colossus's armor is from. In his armor form, he has greater need of oxygen. He is susceptible to cold temperatures. His eyeballs become steel. <laughs> Holy shit, that was just a wild guess. I don't know, steel eyeballs. <laughs> Beast was born a mutant because um, his father was exposed to massive amounts. I want to say Mr. Sinister, because every time it's got a Mr. Sinister in a question or an answer, it's definitely going to be Mr. Sinister. Oh, that that one wouldn't make sense, would it, though? Well, he can't affect all radioactive waste. Um, his mother worked at the genetics research lab. That doesn't make any sense. That's more of... More like Spider-Man origins, isn't it? These two. His father was exposed to a massive amount of radiation. That seems more like the Hulk, so let's go for that. Oh. I, I didn't, never knew the origin of Beast. Never really cared to, um... No. Well... Thomas Cassidy is, um... Banshee? I think his name is. The guy who screams as he flies through the air. Uh, it's gonna be N Sabunur, because it's Egyptian. Definitely. Um... Before joining the X-Men, Angel was a crime fighter who worked under the name... Ah... Uh, Seraph sounds cool. Should we just go for that? That's, that's an angel, isn't it? But come on, you're a crime fighter. What would your name be? Guardian or Avenger? Definitely one of these. Harbinger is more like Doom. Seraph's too religious. Maybe one of these. Crime fighter. I'm gonna say Avenger. Huh. That's a pure guess. Abyss is able to reduce Sonic screams. 
Full of enemies into an interdimensional cavity in his chest. That sounds something like an abyss would be able to do. That does sound pretty cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Blink real name is... It's got to be Clarice Ferguson because it can't be Jubilee and it can't be Kitty and it can't be Emma. Um, what is Lorna Dane's ex-friend's codename? Huh. The name of Lorna Dane is is very... It sends off weird sparks in my head. I, re I looked at her name recently for some reason. Could it be to do with Wolfbane, maybe? No, no, no. No, it wouldn't make sense. Most of these questions some has sometimes something to do with the game. The only one that I've seen that's in this game is Polaris? Pretty sure Dazzler, Wolfbane and... I don't think Jubilee is in this game. I'm gonna say Polaris, Lorna Dane. Oh, that was a, that was a guess. Where's Blob from? I don't know. Um, Texas. Eh. Doesn't sound like he's from Texas. Oh God, Grizzly. Grizzly worked for which team? Uh, I want to say the six pack. Yeah. They're the only ones I could think of that sound evil. Why does Lady Deathstrike hate Wolverine? Because he killed a dad, wasn't it? No. If she thinks he stole his father's work in Adamantium. There you go. I know that one. Quicksilver's mutant power is. Super speed, isn't it? I had. I had got confused with the Silver Surfer for some reason. Um, Polaris. I'm pretty sure she's Magneto's daughter. So she would have magnetic manipulation, wouldn't she? I don't know, actually. Apocalypse wants her. I, I would have I thought she was psychic, but I don't think she would be. So... Oh, I'm sure it's just something to do with Magneto. I'm sure she is. Oh. Blink protected his saber too. That one's obvious. Which X Men save Polaris from Mesmero? Mesmero? I have absolutely no idea. Should we just wing it? Well, seeing as I have him on my team, let's just wing it with Iceman. Before joining the Brotherhood, I want to say he worked at the Traveling Circus. Yeah, probably as a strong man or something. She has green, doesn't she, Polaris? Yeah. Because of her sister were raised by... Uh, gypsies? Which top secret... Well, what secret project did Wolverine and Sabretooth? Um, Weapon X? Oh, wait a minute. Would it be Weapon X? Because that was a facility. Would that be the name of the project? I don't, I don't know what... <laughs> X Factor. Team X. Eh, fuck it. Cable, Domino, Grizzly, George Washington Bridge, Hammer and Kane. It must be the six pack because we just answered the question regarding Grizzly. Yay. Link is able to teleport... Um, as far away as the moon. See, as long as you can picture something, you can TP to it. Zealot. This is a bitter enemy of... Well, everyone hates Magneto. There we go. <laughs> I don't even know who Zealot is. Pietro Maximoff. We know that. Quicksilver's name. Sabertooth made his debut... In which Marvel comic? It probably was an X Men. I'm guessing. It's too obvious to be X Men. You know, I have absolutely no idea. I know for a fact it won't be X Men. It won't be Spider Man. And why, why would it be Iron Man? I'm gonna go with Iron Fist. You see anyone that I can think of that doesn't make sense? That makes sense. I couldn't see him fighting against Spider Man because it's literally pointless. Iron Man is more. Hmm, 
Iron Fist or Iron Man. Oh, there we go. Um, wasn't her friend was hit by a car? Hmm, she fell from a plane. Is it that um, Luke Cage's ability? Didn't he fall from a plane? He was injected by his parents and he fell from a plane and became like indestructible. I'm going to say hit by a car. Kissed by a boy. Um, when she first kissed a boy, that was Rogue. I don't know what about the bully. I'm guessing the one from the plane has got to be Luke Cage. I don't know who was attacked by a bully and then I'm going to get hit by a car anyway. Juggernaut frequently partners up with which of the following mutants? Oh god. Um, I know who Sebastian Shaw is. I know who Black Tom Cassidy is. I don't know who Madison Jeffries is. Or Jeffries is? Tom Cassidy. Going on Tom Cassidy. Well, it won't be Sebastian Shaw. This is the Hellfire Club. I don't know what I can think of. I don't, I, I don't know who these three are. I'm going to go with Black Tom. No. Purely because there was an item in the first game that was called Black Thomas Kane, I think. Who did Sabretooth have a son with? Um, oh, I didn't even know he had a son. The only one I can think of, those will be Mystique because he's kind of thotty. <laughs> uh, deduction, mate. Um, Eureka. If Lady Deathstrike. He were the children of Magneto. They will be Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Hold on. This Polaris. I'm pretty sure Polaris is Magneto's kid. Isn't she? Or am I thinking wrong? I could be wrong, actually. I know Quicksilver and um, Scarlet Witch are. I assume Polaris was his bastard child. The one he kept away from everyone. Um. Oh, good lord. Which Marvel Heroes comic did Mystique first appear in in 1978? I was still sperm in 1978. Um. But. I know that she appeared in a. It's, it's either Miss Marvel. I don't know what I could think of. 1978. Oh, that was a, that was a literal guess. Um, well, that was kind of obviously is bonding animantium to bone because we just had a question saying that Wolverine stole her father's research. It doesn't make sense, does it? Why, why would you still research then subject yourself to something as painful as turning your bones to metal? Or coating your bones in metal. Ooh. Abyss worked for... I have absolutely no idea. I don't even know what Abyss is. We know that he um, he opens portals. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't, didn't he have a... Um... Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. There was a... Um... Yeah. A horseman of apocalypse named Abyss controls all of Genosha. There, there's our answer right there. So he works for Apocalypse. <laughs> um, Genosha is located... I'm going to say in the Bermuda Triangle. Nah, that's just stupid. Beneath the Arctic. It can't be beneath the Arctic. Well, I mean, it can't be Asteroid M, because that no longer exists. What does it? Was it destroyed, or did she just put it back into space? I can't remember. It's not beneath ground. In the ocean, is there anyone I can think of that makes sense? Oh. Um, He probably attended Cambridge or Oxford. It's the only snobby ones I can think of. Let's go for Oxford, because it sounds posh. On average, if Rogue touches the mutant for a minute, how long does she retain that mutant's power for? Oh, 
Oh no, it's timed as in minutes. If you touch somebody for a whole minute. Well, it won't be a minute. And it won't be 10 minutes. It's between a day and 60 minutes. A day seems a bit too extreme for a minute. But it's say 60. There we go. What would she be doing if, if she's touching someone for a whole minute? Hmm. Which of these mutants can't fly? Well, obviously Wolverine. Uh, which time traveling team of mutants does Blink belong to? Ooh. The only one I can know of is the Reavers, but it might not be the Reavers. Time traveling team. Blink doesn't time travel. This is the X-Hours. I'm pretty sure the Reavers are cyborgs or something. I, I always, I, when I think of Reavers, I think of like people who have enhanced themselves with machines. I don't know why. I hope he is not a mutant. That would be Juggernaut. I guess it's powerful from a crystal, doesn't it? Um, which group of criminals did Deathstrike the um, join after her attempt to kill Wolverine failed? What? Her attempt to kill Wolverine failed? Oh, here we go. Reavers. There you go. That's why I remember. Because um, in one of the comics of the Wolverine omnibuses that I pres of many that I um, have, there was a massive whole Lady Deathstrike being with um, some robot dudes who used the kind of tech that Lady Deathstrike uses. It's like cybernetic machines, isn't it? In that merged T flesh. Pretty sure that's what the Reavers are. Well, they could be the Marauders. Huh. Um. Blob is able to generate, I'm going to say, a gravitational force that makes him immovable. Just because he's fairly fat. Oh. Which X-Men did Polaris have a relationship with? What? How do you define relationship? I don't even know who North Star is. Well, you can't be Cyclops because he's with Jean. Wolverine is a no-no, definitely. Pretty sure Havoc's not an X-Man, or would it be now? I don't know who North Star is, so I'm going to go with Havoc. Huh. I didn't even know Havoc was classified as a um, as an, um, an X-Man. Um, Ford was contacted by the US government to develop a way to defeat an alien race. Known as, I'm gonna say Dire Wraiths. The Shia or the Shire Empire aren't not necessarily an alien race. Well, they are, I guess, but not in terms of evil. Morlocks are underground. But what's the brood? Oh, now I'm confused. It's one of these. I'm gonna go with Dire Wraiths because it sounds cool. Huh. Oh, good lord. James Howlett is Wolverine. William Stryker is the guy from Weapon X. Don't know who Trevor Fitzroy is, but it's got to be something Creed. Isn't Greg and Creed the dude who was like, he hates mutants, even though he's the son of a mutant? Um, Beast was born in. I have absolutely no idea. It can't be Texas, because that was already chosen for Blob. Um, I don't know. Dunphy. Oh, there we go. That was all of them. <laughs> we didn't even get a level. What? I didn't even get at one. Didn't get one level for all of them. The all of them questions. I'm shocked. Why is that not marked as complete? Oh man, I'm kind of salty I didn't get a level then. I know they were only giving you 50 XP, but come on now. Well, I'll get over it. 
How much XP did that give me? Oh, almost a level. The bar that says XP. The bar that's between XP and 7 on the right hand side. Top right is the XP bar. Wow, you really didn't get any for that. Well, that's kind of salty. Never mind. So we just continue the game. I don't know what we're doing. Is it? Which mission? Uh, security door to the Cersei tunnel. No, but we've already done that, haven't we? Wait a minute. Um, oh, wait a minute. I did find something inside. If you go to um, auto map on here, you can actually scroll around the the map. But I I complained that you couldn't do that in the um, originally. But yeah, I noticed that you could do it here, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it works when you're actually out in the field, but I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. We need to go to the the, the Cersei tunnels. We need to go to the find the buried. Wait a minute, is that going to be that place where I couldn't get into? I wonder. There was a place where I, was, I thought the floor would um, open up and I spent like 10 minutes walking around trying to find an entrance to it and I couldn't find it. I wonder if that's what this is. Um, so... I don't know where we're going. I, I really don't. Why did I press select? I need to press start. It's weird having a select button on a controller. This controllers nowadays don't have them. This again. This one's here. Oh, we've done that one. Complete these objectives for additional experience. Uh, all right. Okay, so your location is marked in a gold color. Which is normally desolate mesa, varying cliffs, Cersei caverns. But it's not telling me where it is. Which mission brief? Let me have a look. This is what we've already seen. I'm just oh my god, that's a fucking cool image. You did a commendable job of locating the Genosha security code. With that, we can now enter the city. Mmm, but old apocalypse has got the guards posted on every door. That place is locked up tight in the croc's jaw. Mm -hmm. There's an entrance near the seawall that's not being watched. I know the door you speak of. It was buried months ago during an earthquake. Right you are, Wanda. You got it all. Beauty and intelligence. A man would be bloody lucky to have the affections of a woman like you, he would. Oh, please, show some self-respect. War! Wanda's correct. But during the attack on Genosha, Apocalypse unleashed genetically enhanced creatures known as the Circe. They're mindless carnivorous insects. They breed at a highly accelerated rate. Unchecked, they could overrun the entire island in a matter of months. They've already created a sizable nest, one which appears to be to our advantage. The X-Man, Angel, followed the tunnels and discovered the Circe had unearthed the door that had been buried. Well, no worries then. I'll just wear me some bug stomping boots and ooh, we be at that door in no time at all. Gambit, the Circe grow to the size of a man and they can crush rock with their mandibles. Oh, well that's not so good. Which is why an entire team is needed to battle through the tunnels to the door. Once there, you'll be able to use the security code and enter into a back area of Genosha. Good luck to you. <laughs> Gotta love Gambit. And for some reason, Wanda's really thick in those um, cutscenes. She's got massive thighs. It's kind of cool. Okay, so... Told us what to do, but not where to go. <laughs> I 
this game is is not a, what I remember it being. It's uh, I'm used to the game just throwing me into a mission. This one, the hub for this one makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, I'm, I guess I'm just gonna go and find something called the Queen's Lair, which is um, helpful, I guess. So if I come to the extraction point and I extract, I should be able to TP to areas I've been to. Go to the Barren Cliffs. Yeah. Oh. Wow, they made instant meat, meat. Yeah, it was. This is the area where I was like, how do we get into this fucking area? And it was here. Oh my god. I knew this was a fucking tunnel. So I was right all along. I spent like 10 minutes wandering around. Um, trying to get into this area. And then it's... You don't even need to. It's, it's part of a story. I didn't know you come back to these levels. Oh, let me check if that auto map thing works. Go to auto map. Oh, it does. So. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So, areas that are locked off, you'll be going back to. In later missions, huh? Definitely, the diff the mission structures in this game is definitely different from the first one. In the first one, missions were to separate areas you were uh, you TP to. I guess because you can use blink, these tunnels are, well, the areas are going to be much more different. So we're bug stomping again. Some kind of invisible wall there. My god, they have made this place home, haven't they? Okay. Don't worry about the, the music, though. The music's really... It just gets random at times. To be honest, I could turn combat music off. I don't, I don't know if to though. Um, look at the number of those Cersei drones, folk. Did Professor Xavier say they'd overrun the entire island of Genosha in a matter of weeks? We should get rid of them. That should slow the spread of this Cersei hive. The cruel. They never asked to be made. That makes such a nice, satisfying squash when you murderize them. Yeah, I might, um, in fact, I'll show you what I mean by the, the options, like, there's some settings that make no sense. I turned off view shake because there's a lot of shaking that happens. I don't know if it's um, helped or not. Like, like the music and the effects of like super low now. Like they can't get any lower. If you ever any lower, they turn off. So yeah, I'm gonna save and I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, let's see if that helps. Yeah, it's just, like, when, when I edit the videos, I have to, each time there's a fight, I have to go in and manually turn the audio down so it's manageable. Which is, it's, it's more of an inconvenience than anything else. Just makes editing a lot more annoying. But as you know, I always go by the premise of, um, the less you need to edit, the better. I don't know, to me, for editor videos, the more you edit, the more you ruin it. Like, if you, you should make your videos as perfect as possible. Less editing, the, the better for me. Yeah, fuck 
them up. <laughs> I don't know, like, how they just, they just poop into a, a splooge on the floor. That's pretty funny. Disgusting. But hilarious at the same time. Get rid of the mummies and then we'll kill the babies after. So then the mummies never have to watch their babies be murdered. We're doing them a service, they just don't realise. I guess it's a uh, it's it's better that they explode into a goo and instead of having a body on the just left on the floor. Oh that's I think that radiated me then. I'm picking up a lot of items. Oh, look at this guy. He's just stuck. Oh, here we go. What's this? Tech station for speed. The, I don't like the fact that these are for anyone who touches it. It should be for everyone in the team. You know, it feels kind of kind of shitty that you have to choose one character. I need help this instant. Well, heal then, dickhead. Oh, I missed him epically. Dad. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot of bloody massive monsters in these tunnels. Just gonna make sure to keep an eye out because I'm bloody terrible at noticing things when you're in this game. Like, I've watched, I, I can watch back my videos when I edit them and. I noticed things that I didn't even notice when I was playing it. It's because my eyes are focused on combat and not dying. But you just don't notice it when you're playing. That's a good excuse I like to stick by. Oops. Come on now. Look at all these eggs. Ugh. If it makes a squelching noise. Okay. Is that no one more? One more over here. May get buggy bastard. I should keep the Cersei population down for a few days. But you get it, dickheads. I think we can safely say we've explored the fook out of this tunnel. Hopefully I didn't miss anything obvious. Yeah, there's nothing... Uh oh! Oh no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Don't do that to me, you bastard. <laughs> you had me worried then. Okay. This bloody... Massive map is fucking pointless. I, I can't move it, so why is it massive? Um, before we do that, let's make sure that none of those items are decent. Um, that's probably why you have auto level up. Hmm. Uh, not good enough for me to ever want to change what I've got at the moment. Um, let's just check to see if we've got everything. And it is started all the way. Yeah. I'll go by red. If it's if there's an area that's red, I've missed it. If it's not, then then I can just move on without any worry. I'm sure the game will tell me eventually if I miss anything. Into the larvae chambers. Sounds disgusting. And squashy. 